Now, if this sounds expensive, then don't worry. We're dropshippers. This is a low risk, low investment business model. So we're not gonna have to make any of these purchases up front. We're gonna make these purchases as soon as somebody places an order with us. So in some cases, we are gonna have to have a couple bucks laying around to be able to make the initial purchase. In other cases, we can receive that payment prior to making the purchase, and we can simply use that same money from the profits to fund our first order. In either case, I do suggest that you keep a couple bucks just to start because again, high ticket dropshipping is gonna be more expensive items. So some of us might not be used to spending this much money on our first product. On average though, this is really gonna depend on what products you're selling, but you can expect anywhere between maybe $50 to 200 to $250 for the first product that you're gonna offer. Again, don't let that scare you away because the profits you're going to receive from this are going to immediately offset it. So don't worry about losing any money. You're not going to lose anything. Dropshipping is a very low risk business model. And with that, let's go ahead and start with the top seven high ticket dropshipping niches. And first up at number one, we have furniture. Now, the average price of any furniture piece is going to be about two hundred and thirty dollars. Of course, that is an average price. This isn't going to be typical. This is really dependent on the furniture that you're selling. But a lot of the furniture pieces that you sell can be priced around $200 to $300. Now, when it comes to furniture, you have quite a few different suppliers that you can source your products from. For one, you're going to have Wayfair. Wayfair is dedicated to home goods. So anything that you need when it comes to home goods or any furniture items or just anything that's used around the house, Wayfair is probably one of the best places to go to. They have amazing customer service, pretty quick shipping and all orders ship for free as long as they're over $35. So that right there can already help you with some extra profits because realistically speaking, when it comes to furniture, shipping prices can get pretty high. Aside from that, you also have the AutoDS marketplace. Now for AutoDS, you are going to need to have an account with AutoDS, but if you're not subscribed just yet, you can get started for just $1 for two weeks and you're going to gain access to tons of winning products in a variety of niches. So as you can see, these are all of the different furniture items that we have to offer. And we have some pretty unique pieces. One of them being this one, which I'm actually about to purchase for myself, but that's beside the point. Aside from this desk though, there are tons of other products for pretty much any room in the house or even outside. One huge benefit you get with AutoDS is you can see the shipping times up front. So this is gonna vary. Like this one runs between six to nine business days. This one is about two business days. This one right here is nine to 10 business days, which this is actually really cool. This is a very modern looking shelf. Things like this do very well. And just to let you know, this shipping time isn't the shipping time for the seller to ship out the item. That's actually how long it's gonna take for your customer to receive their item. So as you can see, you have access to some pretty quick shipping through AutoDS. And just to name a few others, when it comes to top dropshipping suppliers for furniture, Amazon is definitely going to be one of those that are up there. But keep in mind that depending on the furniture piece that you're selling, you might not have access to Amazon Prime. But that makes sense because a lot of furniture pieces are very big. But nonetheless, Amazon is a great supplier for furniture because they have pretty much anything that you need. Target is also another great option. And one of my other favorites has to be Walmart. Walmart is always going to have some really good prices. They have some good rollback deals. And on top of that, they have the price match policy. If you sourced your product today for $400 and tomorrow it's on sale for $300, you can go ahead and get that price adjusted and you'll receive those $100 back. Now to name a few of the different products that you can offer in this particular niche that are going to be some best sellers. The first one is going to be a three dresser wood drawer. So this is a timeless staple. This is something that everyone has, whether that be in their room or their kid's room or even in a closet or even the garage. Metal platform bed frames are also another huge hit. Of course, everyone needs a bed. So being able to offer something that everyone's going to need is a great idea, especially if you want to target different demographics or different age groups. Remember, when it comes to the bed frames, there's going to be a few different sizes, ranging from the kid size all the way to an adult king size. So try to offer all different sizes so that way you can vary your product options. Now to go along with that bed frame, you can also offer a wooden headboard or just any headboard for a bed. Headboards are something that everyone is going to end up buying because without one, their bed is incomplete. Their bedroom is incomplete. And a lot of the times it's actually necessary to be able to hold up the bed frame. 
Of course, that's not the case every single time with every single product, but these two actually go hand in hand. You can sell these as a set or you can sell them individually. Selling them as a set, you can offer a particular headboard with the same style metal bed frame. So that way you can sell them as a couple or as a set or a bedroom set. You can also couple these with the dresser. Jewelry cabinets are also a must sell. When it comes to jewelry cabinets, you're gonna be targeting a lot of women. Women always have jewelry, and for the most part, it's gonna be a lot. So having somewhere to neatly organize them is gonna be a huge help and a huge potential profit for you. Aside from that though, moving from the room, in the living room, sofas are huge hitters. Of course, everyone needs a sofa in their living room. Whether that be a small love seat or a bigger L-shaped sofa, sofas or couches are something that pretty much everybody's gonna look for at one point or another. And moving on to a different room, we have the kitchen. In the kitchen or dining room, another option you're gonna have to sell is a kitchen table, which alone can sometimes go for pretty expensive depending on the material of the table itself or just a complete dining room set or even simply sell chairs by themselves, sell tables by themselves and then couple them together as a set so that way you can increase your average order value. Moving on to the outside, we have patio and garden. Now, when it comes to patio and garden items, let me tell you that those can get pretty expensive. We've actually been looking for a patio set for our backyard and it can get pretty pricey. I'm about to hit up one of my suppliers and just order from them directly. Now, speaking about patio sets, this is what we're looking at. So on Walmart, you can see that they're actually running for not that bad, it's $124 and it's the entire set. Something like this can easily be flipped onto eBay and easily sold for maybe about $300 or almost double the price. Specifically because it's not just one piece. This is gonna bring the table and the four chairs along with the umbrella most of the times purchasing these all separately is going to rack up some pretty high prices so people are going to tend to buy these as a set now an alternative best seller to the patio set is an outdoor couch set so this is essentially the same exact thing except instead of having a few different chairs you're going to have a bigger couch or maybe two different couches that go with each other with some sort of table in the middle now looking through some of these this one right here is the perfect example so this is actually a three-piece set this is going to come with everything that you see here so it's going to be the sofa the little table and the cushions so it's an all-in-one now when it comes to these types of items one of the biggest reasons why they're best sellers is because they can be used outside and they're not going to get ruined so being able to have a patio set specifically something as comfortable as let's say a couch or an outdoor couch is great because people like to lounge outside people like to get out from the inside and experience nature even if it's just their backyard for a few minutes it really helps people disconnect and if they have a backyard this is something that a lot of people are going to be looking for pretty much from the time that they have access to the backyard or whenever they move to a house with a yard. The third high ticket item for patio and garden is gonna be my personal favorite and that is a hammock stand. Now hammock stands, for the most part, I suggest that you sell them with a hammock. Of course, a lot of people are gonna need just a stand themselves, so you can kind of do this as a two for one. You can sell the hammock stand by itself, you can sell the hammock by itself, and you can sell the set of the hammock and the hammock stand. Now, these are fantastic ways to just lounge outside and be lazy for a day. Because honestly, once you get into it, it's it's kind of hard to get out, both physically and because it's just so comfortable. <laughs> but looking through Amazon, you can see that there's a few different options. Let's take a look at this one right here. So this is a nine foot for a hundred dollars. This is a pretty big hammock. Now, the best part about this is that this is the set. So this is gonna give you the hammock stand and the extra large hammock. So this one runs $99 right now through Amazon. Something like this can easily be sold for maybe $150 to $175 on any other website, like let's say on eBay. The big highlight of it, it's extra large. And on top of that, it holds up to 400 pounds. So it can hold two people. Now, a few other notable mentions when it comes to the high ticket products for Patio and Garden. For one, we're gonna have a metal patio dining table. To go with that table, you also have a patio umbrella. Another option is gonna be a gazebo tent. Gazebo tents are huge hits in the patio and garden niche. Roundwood fire pits and gardening toolkits. Now, before we continue any further, if you want access to all of these different items that I'm talking about, then just let me know down in the comments below. I'll go ahead and send you an article that's relevant to this video. So everything that I'm talking about in this video, including all of the different products, are gonna be in that article. And if you want access to that, just go ahead and request it down below, but also let me know which one of these niches is your favorite. My personal favorite, I like patio and garden. What about you? Let me know down in the comments below. So next up we have kitchen appliances. 
And the first one on this list is going to be probably the most notable and the newest addition to kitchens. And that's going to be the air fryer. Air fryers are huge hitters. Everyone at this point has an air fryer and a lot of people are actually going with air fryers instead of their traditional ovens, simply because for one, it's a lot faster and two, it's a lot more energy efficient as well. Now, air fryers are going to come in quite a few different variations, but my suggestion to you is offer the two main ones. The first one is going to be a single air fryer. So it's going to have one single basket and then offer a second one or a second option or variation that has two baskets. So that way people can cook two different things at the same time. Another huge hitter is an espresso machine. So people love their coffee, myself included. Now, this isn't just a one or two person thing. Generally, the entire population likes coffee, whether that be caffeinated or decaf. Ew. But anyway, aside from, you know, the decaf users, every single person on this earth is a caffeine or for the most part, every single person on this earth, everyone who goes to work. The first thing they're going to do is go and make a pot of coffee. People in the office midday. One of the things that people do is go make a cup of coffee or make an espresso to give you a nice little jolt of energy. So because of this same reason, espresso machines are huge hitters, especially some that you can make multiple cups at once. Now, as an added bonus, offer it as a set. So offer the coffee machine. A lot of the times this coffee machine is going to come with the basics. So it can come with a frother or that little pitcher that you use to froth the milk in. It can come with that, but not just that. But if it doesn't, make sure that you offer that as either an add on or just include it with the order. Offer it as a piece of the entire item. Now, as an add on, offer coffee or offer different types of mugs, maybe offer espresso mugs. These are all going to be different items that people are going to purchase together. So that way they can get started right from the beginning, whether that be making coffee at home or making coffee at the office and being able to sell these all together also increases your average order value. So for the most part, if you price it right, or if you bundle them right, most of your orders are going to come in at a little bit higher value than they would if you're selling everything separately. Now, the third item is going to be a soda machine. Now, soda machines are pretty interesting because they can actually make any drink into a fizzy soda. Now, when I say soda machines, I'm not talking about the soda machines that you see at a restaurant. Those are absolutely enormous. I'm talking about something like this. So this is a soda machine that actually makes your drinks, any drink that you have into a carbonated drink. So on one part, this part up here, it has this little adapter where you're going to put in a little cap or container that actually releases the gas, the gas that's going to carbonate your drink. And then on the other side right here, this little spout, that's what's going to go inside your drink to throw in all that gas in there. It's really simple to use. And this right here runs for just $27.35. Typical price is about $58.19, but you can sell these for almost double the price. You can easily sell these for about $99.99 or even about $110, $115. Now, as an added bonus to be able to increase your average order value and start making a couple of extra bucks with every order alongside this offer the CO2 cartridges. The CO2 cartridges is what I had told you earlier, this right here, which dispenses the gas into the liquid or into your drink. These are a must have without the CO2 cartridges. It's not going to work. The soda machine is not going to have any fizziness to be able to dispense. So you can offer the soda machine by itself. You can offer the cartridges by themselves and as a starter bundle, offer the two. Now, a few other options you have to offer in the kitchen niche for one are going to include a toaster, also a blender. The cool thing about blenders is that you have the options for different sizes. So you have the really big ones that need to be powered through electricity directly, but then you also have the portable blenders, the ones that are rechargeable. You have hand mixers, indoor grills. Now, when it comes to indoor grills, my suggestion to you is highlight the fact that they're smokeless. Always make sure you offer a smokeless grill. Don't go for something that's going to cloud up the entire house with a bunch of smoke from cooking. Smokeless grills are great items. They work really well and you can market it as being able to bring the outdoors inside with a smokeless grill. <laughs> up next at number four, we have outdoor entertainment. Now, when it comes to outdoor entertainment, this is going to be something that depending on where your customer base lives, it can be either seasonal or it could be year round. Personally, in South Florida, we have pretty much year round summer. So these types of items sell well all year long. But if you're drop shipping these products to somewhere a bit more up north, like let's say New York, then there it is going to be a bit more seasonal. Over there, they actually have seasons, unlike we have here in South Florida. So in New York, you are going to have your summer, you're going to have your spring, you're going to have your winter, and you're going to have your fall, all pretty much the way that they should be with different weather patterns year round. So because of that, these items are for the most part going to do better 
during the summertime. Sometimes they're also going to do pretty good during the fall and depending on the type of item, also during the winter or spring. So try offering different items throughout different seasons. Now, the first item we're going to cover is going to be a snorkeling set. Now, snorkeling sets can be very lucrative because people buy these pretty much every single summer. And a lot of the times people are going to buy them over and over because either they get damaged, they get lost throughout the year. People forget where they put them. So this is something that's pretty consistent year after year, right before the summer months. So remember, you want to catch these right before the people start searching for them. So if people are going to start searching for these in, let's say, June, well, actually, let's verify that. So on Google Trends, let's go ahead and look up a snorkeling set and let's switch it from the past day to the past five years. So here we can see where the spikes are. So during September, nobody is looking for these from September to December. Same thing here, September to December, September all the way to December. So for the most part, people are going to be looking for these around June to July. So the biggest spikes are going to come between March all the way up until September. Where looking at the past years, September is pretty much where it starts to decline. So that's when people are going to start looking for them. So if people are looking for these in between March to August, let's say, then you want to start selling them or you want to start offering them either in January or in February, because that's when people are going to start looking for them in anticipation for the coming months. Camping tents are also another great option that come in a ton of different variations. So these are going to come in different sizes, different colors, different materials, different weather patterns. Some are going to be better for the heat. Some are going to be better for the rain. Others are going to be pretty much all seasons. So they're going to be resistant to any weather pattern. Now, these are really going to vary in price depending on the different features that you get. So looking through some of these, you can see that these right here are pretty basic. These are just a basic tent and they're also some of the cheapest ones. So this one's running for about $30. But then we start to get into the bigger ones, the taller ones and the more complex ones. That's when the prices start to go up a little bit. So looking at this one, this one's running for 125 when the regular price is 300. That's not bad at all. You can catch this when it's on sale, offer it for the typical retail price of 300 and you made over double your money aside from those two though you also have life jackets now life jackets and snorkeling sets can be sold as a set they can be sold as a bundle they can be used together to upsell now when it comes to the life jackets you're going to have a few different variations just like every other product now the important thing about life jackets to know is that these are going to go based off of size and age range so you want to have some you want to be able to offer some that are for kids some that are for toddlers some that are for adults these are all going to vary in size and style. Also, they're going to have some varying materials, but for the most part, they're all going to act pretty much the exact same way. Life jackets honestly aren't essential. These are products that are going to be selling all the time and are actually extremely helpful. These can help save lives. So offering these in your stores can be very lucrative, especially if you're selling them as sets or if you're selling them as bundles or if your store specializes in something like outdoor sports or outdoor activities or even water activities. A few other notable mentions are going to include kayaks. So kayaks are huge, literally. These things are extremely big. You're going to have one and you're going to have two person seaters. So the two person seaters, of course, are going to be a bit more money. So you can offer two people seaters as a type of upgrade. Now, kayaks don't always come with paddles, so you can offer paddles on the side or you can offer them together. You also have fishing rods for those people that like to go fishing and metal detectors. Now, metal detectors can go with the snorkeling sets as well as the life jackets because these are all going to be used primarily around the same location in the beach. Next up, we have fitness equipment. Now, when it comes to fitness equipment, this is a niche that for the most part is going to be popular or it's going to be booming right before the New Year's. So everyone has their New Year's resolution of getting fit. Now, this is when people are going to be looking for all of these different types of equipment and different types of accessories. So you want to be offering these. You want to be ready with these at least by October. So that way in November, people are going to start looking for them and they find your website, they find your products and they make a purchase from you. Now, some of the most trending products in this niche are going to include hands down for one, the adjustable dumbbell. When it comes to dumbbells, you have a lot. So you're going to have weights ranging all the way from five to 50, 65, 70. They're going to go in increments of five. So on top of having that, you're going to have sets. So you're going to have two. So you can only imagine how much space it's going to take. So because of this, an adjustable dumbbell is the perfect solution, especially for people that want to work out at home. 
Now, adjustable dumbbells are gonna come in a few different variations, but for the most part, the biggest difference is gonna be how much weight that can be added. So some are gonna go up to 25 pounds, some are gonna go up to 60 pounds, some can even go up to 100 pounds. It all depends on the variation that you go with. Now, because of this, you do want to offer these different variations. You don't wanna just offer the one that goes up to the highest weight, because not everyone's going to use that. You also want to make sure that you cater to people that, that aren't expecting to be lifting 100 pounds. While you do want to cater to the fitness experts and the very dedicated fitness enthusiasts, you also want to cater to the hobbyist or the person that's just trying to get fit and get a little bit of exercise in their day. Now, the good thing about offering the dumbbells in these two wide variations from lower weights to higher weights in adjustable terms is the fact that with the lower ones, you're gonna be paying less and so is your customer. While they are still high ticket items because fitness equipment is pretty expensive to begin with, a lot of the times different companies charge by the pound. So each pound is gonna cost you on average ballpark about a dollar, at least retail price. So with that, you can see why the hobbyist isn't gonna go for the bigger ones because it's for one gonna be too expensive and two, they're not gonna need it. So make sure you offer these different variations when it comes to the adjustable dumbbell. Some that go up to maybe 25 or 50 pounds and others that go to even heavier weights, 75 or 100. Now the next item is gonna be a multifunction power rack or simply put a squat cage. So when it comes to this particular item, you're gonna have squat cages and you're gonna have squat racks. I'm talking about in particular squat cages. So the difference is this. This is a cage, this is a rack. So as you can see, the rack is just that. It's gonna be one simple rack where you can put your barbell. Now, as far as the cage, this has a lot more functionality to it. So this is gonna be for one, safer, and two, it's gonna give the user a lot more options when it comes to working out. So for the most part, these are gonna be adjustable. You can go ahead and put multiple barbells on there. And sometimes they even come with something like a pull-up bar. On top of that, you can also add something like a safety strap to this to make sure that the users are safe and protected just in case they lift a little bit more than they're supposed to and it ultimately falls on them. So because of that, there are different safety products that are available, some of which are already included with these squat racks, such as safety straps. Now to go along with that rack, you also wanna offer an adjustable bench. Now a bench is pretty much a necessity. You're gonna need that bench for almost any laying down exercise that the user wants to do. Now, while some people might not think that it is a necessity, trust me, it is. If you don't offer a bench, the users are gonna be very limited in terms of what workouts they're able to do. And because of that, they're not gonna make a purchase from you if they have to purchase the bench from somewhere else or from a different supplier. So always make sure that you offer a bench, especially if you're offering the power racks. Now, again, as I've been saying this entire video, make sure you offer these also, not just separately, but also as sets or as bundles. These are items that all go hand in hand and people are always gonna be purchasing them together. Aside from those though, flooring is also very important. So an exercise mat or exercise flooring is gonna be another good option for you to offer. Now, for those people that like to do cardio and not necessarily just stick to weights, you also have the option for exercise bikes. Exercise bikes come in quite a few different varieties. Some are gonna be stationary, which don't move or fold at all, while others are gonna be a bit more compact that can actually fold to safe space. Same goes for treadmills. Treadmills are gonna come in the very big ones where they're stationary and they don't fold. And then you're also gonna have some other ones that are more space saving. And last but not least in fitness, you're gonna have ab machines or ab core trainers. Everyone wants to get that fantastic six pack. So everyone's gonna always go for an ab trainer, something that can help them actually get definition in their stomach area. Up next, we have electronics. Now the electronics niche is one that is upgraded year after year. So every single year, people are always trying to purchase the newest electronic accessories, the newest phone accessories, the newest TV that came out. Everyone wants to stay up to date with their electronics. So this is a very evergreen niche that for the most part during Christmas time or the holidays is going to really skyrocket. Now, one of the biggest items in this niche is going to be the portable Bluetooth speaker. These are used pretty much for absolutely anything. People use them to go out. People use them to go on a picnic, to go to the beach, to go to the pool, to go outside, whether they're inside their office, in their house. These are used for pretty much anything. Everyone's always listening to music or a podcast or an audiobook. So this is one thing that people are always gonna be searching for. Another thing is these are great gifts. People love to give speakers as gifts. So expect a big influx during Christmas time. 
Now, when it comes to these Bluetooth speakers, the features are going to vary. Some are going to be waterproof, while others are going to be a bit more heavy duty, while others are going to be basic speakers that if you drop them, they could potentially break. But that's really all going to depend on the price point that you're going for and the type of speaker that you're offering and the demographic that you're targeting. The person that you're targeting that goes on the hikes, you want to offer them something that's a bit more rugged, something that if you drop it, it's going to be okay, something that's waterproof, something that runs on batteries. The person that's going to use it in their house, they don't need all that. They don't need it to be waterproof. They don't need it to have a rechargeable battery. While some people are going to like that, it's not 100% necessary. Now, another high ticket item is going to be a movie projector. So movie projectors, again, these are some things that year after year, they get better and better and they even get cheaper and cheaper. So as far as a movie projector, the cheaper ones aren't necessarily going to be high definition. So you always want to go for one that is at a minimum HD or 1080p. If you can find one that you can offer for 4K, even better. You can charge a little bit more for that as well. Now, the same way that you have smart TVs, you're also starting to have smart projectors. So some of these are going to have built-in apps, while others can be connected to something like a Roku or an Amazon Fire Stick. So if you're able to offer a smart projector or at least a projector that you can bundle up with something like a Fire Stick or a Roku or something that can make it into a smart projector, you can increase your average order value because these are movie projectors. People are gonna be using these for movies. Now, to give you an even bigger boost, offer them with a screen. They're projectors. People are gonna use them either on a white wall or they're gonna to need to order a screen to be able to project the image onto. So you can offer them separately, of course, but again, to increase your average order value, people, when they purchase a projector, they're gonna be purchasing something that they can project on as well. So make sure to offer everything together for just a couple bucks discount, maybe 10 or 15. That in itself is gonna incentivize people to purchase the bundle instead of purchasing them separately or purchasing them from different suppliers. Another few different items that you can offer are gonna include a gaming mouse or a wireless gaming mouse. So these are gonna come in different options. You're gonna have the option for wired and wireless. Always offer both. Some people like the wired ones because you don't have to charge them. Some people like the wireless because they're not wired. Gaming headsets are also another huge plus. If you wanna increase your profits with gaming headsets, make sure you offer some that for one, have a microphone. Most of them are going to have microphones included, but some don't. So make sure that you offer the ones that do. On top of that, try to source some that have spatial sound or a sort of surround sound rather than the basic stereo. People are willing to pay extra for that because it really helps get immersed in the game or the movie. Smartwatches and fitness watches are also huge sellers, especially because a lot of people don't want to spend the money to buy something like a Samsung watch or an Apple watch. These can run quite a few hundred dollars, sometimes even into the thousands, depending on the specs. So being able to offer a somewhat more affordable option that is a bit more universal can really help drive some more sales. Last but certainly not least, when it comes to high ticket niches, we have one of the most important ones, and that is home security. So this day and age, you need to be as secure as possible. Depending on where you live, things are pretty crazy out there. People are going absolutely insane. People are looting, people are robbing people. So you wanna make sure that wherever you live is safe and secure. At the very least, you wanna make sure you know what's going on around you. So because of that, this niche is one that right now is absolutely exploding. And one of the best products or one of the top selling products is gonna be a wireless security camera. Now these cameras are gonna come in a lot of different variations, different sizes, different uses. So you're gonna wanna offer some that are for the outside and some that are for the inside. On top of that, they also have different sizes and different styles. So taking a look at some of the ones here, you can see that they have your basic cameras like this one right here. This is the standard camera. This is what pretty much everyone has and you see in most stores. You can see one like this. These are more indoor cameras. So these aren't gonna be weatherproof. If these get wet, they're gonna break. And aside from that, you also have some other ones like this one right here, which I think is actually really cool. And that's a security camera that's actually powered through a light socket. So you don't have to worry about having to recharge it. You don't have to worry about having to plug it into anything. It's gonna have its consistent electricity source through the light socket. Now, it's very important to note if you're offering outdoor cameras, you need to make sure that they're weatherproof. If they're not, they're going to break literally within one or two months. So you want to make sure that they are weatherproof. They're against water, against UV rays, and against extreme weather patterns like, let's say, wind. 
And to go along with those cameras, you also want to offer smart video doorbells. These are also essentials. So the smart video doorbell is pretty much going to go either at your gate or at your customer's gate or at the front door. And then the other security cameras can go around the house. The best thing about the smart video doorbells is the fact that you're able to communicate with whoever is at the other end. So if somebody rings your doorbell, you're going to get your notification on your phone. And if you don't know who they are, you can simply talk to them through the phone or through the app to make sure everything is safe. Now, the third high ticket item on this list is a surveillance DVR kit. Now, these kits are going to come with a DVR along with different security cameras to put around the house. Now, what's the difference between this? And the first one that I mentioned, well, this is all in house. So a lot of the Wi-Fi ones, like let's say a ring, they have their own platforms or their own dashboards or their own apps where you're going to sign on and you're going to see all of your recordings. Some don't even have that. Some are just simply used to see what's going on in front of your house or in front of the camera. Now, because of that, some people like to keep these things stored just in case something happens. You have proof of what happened or you have documentation of what happened. So because of that, a lot of people opt in for DVR kits. So everything is going to be recorded in that DVR kit, which is pretty much going to look like an old school DVD box or a DVD player, old school DVD player. Wow, that makes me sound so old. But anyway, for the most part, these are going to have some pretty big storage. A lot of the times they're going to have between one to two terabytes, especially nowadays. And nobody has access to this except for you, unless you put it on a network. If you put it on a network, then you still have access to it anywhere outside of your own home network. But again, it's going to be up to you to give access to anybody who needs it or simply just keep access to yourself. This is closed circuit. Nobody's going to have access to this. Not even companies like, let's say, Amazon, where they have access to your ring. Not saying that Amazon spies on people's rings, but, you know, at the end of the day, if law enforcement gets into it or something like that, they do have the option or the availability to look to see what's inside their servers. Now, with that, we conclude the top niches for high ticket drop shipping. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it this far, then that means you enjoyed the video. So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember, if you want access to the article that has all of the different products that I talked about and a few more, just go ahead and comment down below requesting it and let me know which one of these niches was your favorite. Huge thank you to everyone for watching again, especially for making it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping business. And I've got you all next time.